Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So um, this video I'm going to try and help you um, paint in yellow. A lot of people have asked me how I paint my yellow when I come to do my Imperial Fist. If you haven't been following my progress on the tabletop stuff, I've normally avoided painting yellow even though I'm a massive Imperial Fist fan because I've been too scared actually jumping in and painting that colour because it's one of the hardest colours. That, black and white are probably some of the hardest colours to try and make pop out and stand out when you do your tabletop models. But I've got a little, I won't, I won't call it a hack, but I've, a little method which I think really, really um, helped me, assisted me, and it's made me get these colours. So this is the, uh, the method I've been using. And uh, for example, you can see um, I'm currently doing a work in progress on a Redemptor Dreadnought right here. So... Um, all the back of it, all the legs and stuff like that. So it's you're going to be getting this type of yellow colour when you do this method. So I'll just put Mr. Larry over there, and we bring up um, uh, just the normal marine model again. Same method used with um, the normal in, uh, well Primaris model, and this is like this is this is what we're going to be using as a test model to try and um, learn you to help you to assist you to paint yellow so um let's bring on the colors you're gonna need um for this so-called what is it is it called a tutorial let's call it a tutorial for this yellow tutorial okay so the next stage is applying the paints now the method i use these these are basically all the paints i use when i when when i come to do my yellow so i firstly start by spraying the model black i use halford's matte black spray paint halford's for me do the best spray paints they're really really cheap Really, really good quality. If you haven't got a Halfords in your country, so you're watching this from the US, then just go and find some black spray paint. You can even use uh, the Citadel black spray paint, the Abaddon black, but um, I find that a bit dear, where Halfords is really, really cheap and you get more. And yeah, I just, I just, I just prefer Halfords. Now, the next step is applying uh, the base coat of yellow. Now, there's three ways to do this. Um, there is the Avalon um, Sunset Spray. There is the Avaland, um, just normal what you use for your brush. And there's also the Avaland airbrush paint as well from GW. Now, the method I've been using when I come to do, um, for example, my, my stuff like this guy here, he's been sprayed with Avaland Sunset out of the spray can. The reason I, you've been using sprays is that you get a better finish on your model. It's more it's more smooth, let's say. And I think, I think it looks a bit better, but... If you can, you know, do a lot of thin layers just with a normal Citadel one, that's fine. But um, I'm definitely going to be investing in the air sprays for um, GW and using the Avaland air spray. It's just I had a spare one of these lying around, so I thought I'd rather use this before I go out and buy all that spare paint. There's still a little bit more in here, so I'll I'll get my use out of this, and then I'll just completely use my airbrush with the Avaland Sunset um, air spray paint. But that that is the kind of quality you get when you spray it uh, from this model. A nice a nice yellow. Um, um, looking model. Right, so once you've done the Avaland and, and the Avaland's out the way, and the next step is applying Avgrax Earthshade. Now, you don't coat the entire model with it. This is what I used to do, and I used to get some pretty bad results with it. So you don't do that. So what you do, you have to be very, very careful. You basically dip your brush in here um, and then just go through all the recesses. So like round the, short, uh, the, the knee pads here and stuff like that. If you have got shoulder pads, I paint my shoulder pads separate. Um, you make sure you you know you, you go and put them in all the recesses of the shoulder pads, making sure that your model actually gets some definition and stuff like that. I'll, I will show you how to do that in the next stage. What I'll do, I'll cut the video and um, I'll come back and I'll I'll, sh I'll show you like all, all all this guy with uh, all the Avaland in the recesses and stuff like that. But once that's done, once you've put the Avgrax in um, all the recesses and everything the next step sorry let me get this guy back is basically now this is where the hat comes into it <laughs> as i like to call it it's basically just making yourself like bob ross when you come to miniature painting you use a glaze called lamenter's yellow now what lamenter's yellow does this yellow color that we have now the the glaze basically brightens that up it gives it a really awesome looking yellow effect now you basically apply this all over the model so just stick it everywhere what you have to do you have to make sure 
that this doesn't pool. Just like when you do with you know, like washes and stuff like that, with glazes, just make sure you apply it um, in, in, in nice, smooth areas. Just don't let it pool and stuff like that. What I normally tend to do is do like one leg at a time, then, you know, like uh, the back bit at a time, then the arm at a time, the chest at a time. So, you know, I, I, I don't leave myself open to mistakes. But if you feel like you've got the confidence you can do a full model in one go, then just, yeah, just give it a crack at it. But this is where all the skill comes from is this citadel glaze lament is yellow it is basically the emperor has sent this rogel dawn has sent this to me himself and it is just give me such amazing results you can see look like this you, you can see the color of this guy here and you can see the color of this guy and um, it really gives it that rich kind of yellow like this yellow is pretty decent but it really gives that rich kind of yellow i've probably nulled this down a bit because i've done a lot of battle damage on this Imperial Fish Dreadnought, but it really, really does make it stand out and makes it look really, really nice. So what I'll do now, I'll cut the video. I'm going to go and paint in all the recesses in this, and then um, I'll come back, show you that off, and then I'll probably um, paint uh, the, the glaze on, and um, we can see the, the full results, let's say. So give me a second, I'll cut the video, and I'll be, out, be right back. Okay, and we're back with the next stage of the painting. So as you can see, I've just gone um, slightly around all the recesses just to make the armor pop a little bit more. You know, all the back over here, everything over here, like on, on the hands and stuff, um, underneath all the chest plate, the top of the chest plate. And um, you don't want to be like, you know, um, culling anything in with this, like, uh, for example, um, like all the all the armor joints and stuff because that comes later because there's really no point you're just gonna be wasting stuff in here because black goes in there or silver or whatever you want to do and that's just really gonna you're not even gonna see the wash you put the wash over the silver or the black on and stuff like that so you don't want to be doing that just you know just try and get some uh, definition on on the feet and you know around around the knee pads and all that kind of stuff uh, again i've got surf shade was used in this method right what i'm going to do now i'm going to put the glaze on so give me two secs i'll cut the video and um, um i'll start putting the glaze on with you Okay, so this is the final stage. This is the glazing stage. So just give your glaze a little bit of a shake. Open it up. It can get a bit messy here. So I suggest always have something on your workstation. If you've got like a mat like I have, always have something like that. Um, dip it in, get it right in there, get it all over. I'm going to be confident and try and do the entire model in one go. Uh, but like I said, if you just if you do it for the first time, just do it bit by bit and you'll get the hang of it. So... All we do now is just put the glaze all over the model and you can see, well, when 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 you start doing it yourself, you probably won't see because my light's probably blinding it out here at the moment, but you'll see for yourself that the yellow really starts to become very, very vibrant, very bright, really starts to change its colour. It's really, it's such a great method. I was so surprised, like, I was like, I, I haven't seen this before online, this is, this is amazing, I'm doing this for everything now, and like, at the end of it, I felt like I was Van Gogh, I was like, oh my god, I'm the best painter in the world, <laughs> you know, it, it was, it was that, it was that awesome, it was that simple, right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around the rest of the model, and let it dry, and we'll come back with the finished product in just a second, so... BRB. Okay, so I've applied the glaze all over. As you can see, it's still drying at the moment. It's still got that little bit of a shiny effect, but you can definitely tell that the the yellow is more of a richer yellow now. You've achieved that nice, awesome, rich yellow. Um, if you if you're still missing out, or you think you'd like it to be even more rich, because in some cases, um, um, I've said, oh no, I need to I need a bit more yellow over there. All you do, wait for it to dry. Then add another yellow um, glaze layer, and then um, that will brighten it up even a little bit more. Especially when, if you want to do battle damage, like I've done the battle damage with this guy, um, I do tone it down quite a bit. So I tend to do um, um, uh, two, two minimum um, um, layers of glaze, because when I do come to like put on the mud on it and stuff like that, it does take a bit away from it. So... Um, that's just me though, but if you're not doing any battle damage, I think one layer should be enough Just as long as you get it into all the you know all the areas like under the arms stuff like that um, And just watch the model as it dries and again if you need to put it anywhere else just just dab it on you, you, there's, there's, there's no stress about this just make sure it doesn't pool and that's all you really have to do right so That now is my 
um, little tutorial on how I achieved my yellow. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you've got any questions at all, please post them below in the comment section. I'll do my best to try and answer any questions, give any kind of feedback, anything like that, anything you're struggling with. Let me know, and I'll do my best to try and just just try and help your advisor in, in any way possible. Trust me, chaps. If I can do this, you can do this. This is like tabletop standard for me. So if you know if 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 you really want to get into painting and you really want to get in there and really get some time around, you can make this just incredible. It really is. It really is a nice, cool way to do it. Just just be confident about it and just jump in there. I, I, I was so scared of doing yellow. I really, really was. And there's a massive Imperial Fist fanboy. I was so let down by it because I was like, I really want to make an Imperial Fist Force, but I don't have the confidence to paint yellow. I did this technique and I've got all the confidence in the world. Now I'm like, I can, I can fight anything that is yellow. I will climb that yellow mountain. So just, just give it a shot. And um, I'm sure you'll get great results. I really, really am sure you'll get great results. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, if you've got any comments, feedback or anything like that, um, then just post it below. If you want to share it to your friends and, you know, a friend who's struggling painting yellow, then tell him maybe to give this a little shot and hopefully it'll work out for him and he'll be creating Imperial Fist masterpieces. All are meant to master, uh, masterpieces. Whatever yellow chapter you want to do, as long as it's not heretics, how dare you use this technique if you're doing a yellow um, chapter get out how dare you right thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it see you all very very soon see you now and bye 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 see ya bye